What's up guys, I'm Brianna, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing my August wrap up and I'm doing it really early. Today is, I don't even know today's date, the 17th? Yeah, today's August 17th, so I still have a little bit of the month to go, but I feel like I'm not going to read a lot just because I'm moving into college and then I start college classes the last week of August so I kind of want to do my wrap up now and then worst case scenario I'll just add whatever I read into my September wrap up so yeah so like every video I'm going to start with the book I'm currently reading and that's Moonlight Sins by Jennifer Armitrout honestly this is probably going to take me a couple days to read I'm in kind of a book slump right now I don't really want to read anything so this is the book I'm currently reading and yeah I'm hoping to be done with it before I leave for college, which I'm filming on Friday. I'm leaving Wednesday night. So yeah, I should hopefully be done with this book. Oh, and I read 19 books this month, which isn't that great. Um, I read 10 ebooks. I lied. I read eight ebooks and then two books from a library. And then I DNF'd one book and then the rest of the books I read were regular copies. So the book I DNF'd was Rule by Ellen Goodlett. I was reading this last night. I got a couple chapters into it and I just didn't like it. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of the concept and I felt like she kind of threw us into the world without explaining more about the characters and I hate when authors do that, especially if there's no like prequel to it. So I DNF'd it, I couldn't finish it. Um, I normally never do that to books. It, there's like a rare instance where I'll DNF. Um, and I kind of, my my thinking is, I know a lot of people don't like to do it, but I don't want to waste time on a book that I know I'm not going to like. So, yeah, I DNF'd it. Not, probably not going to pick it up. I may do a giveaway or something with it if you guys are interested in it. So, leave a comment if you want it. So, now I'm going to start with all the ebooks I read. And I read with, I read like a lot. I read eight ebooks, like I said. So, the first book I read, and some of these books are like, continued over from July because I didn't put them in my July wrap up but the first book was Legacy uh, PS, uh, PSU number four so Palm Soft University number four by Candy Steiner I was grateful to receive an arc of this book and I absolutely loved it I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 I will leave my review link down below uh, just because I already talked about it it has a non-spoiler and a spoiler section so be sure to check it out if you're interested in it this is a college kind of romance drama book and it's just really good it reminds me of Netflix and everything about that and y'all so then the next book I read was a continuation of the candy signer kick I was on so I read it at the same time as I read legacy so this one if it loads I don't know if it's gonna load but the cover here it's black number four Black Number no. 4 by Candy Steiner. This book was really, really good. I enjoyed it. I only gave it a 4 out of 5 just because I felt like it was a repeat of Legacy. A lot of the scenes were the same. So I recommend, I don't know, reading this maybe after you read Legacy or before you le read Legacy. Um, just don't read it so close together like I did. I read them like at the same time. So it was good. It wasn't the best book I've read, but I did enjoy it. And then... My Kindle's being very slow today. The next book I read, I really loved this book and I wasn't expecting to love it. This was actually free on Kindle. Uh, yeah, it was free on Kindle and one of the uh, bookstagrammers I follow mentioned it and that's Sweet Addiction by Jay Daniels. This is a trilogy, I think. Um, but I absolutely love this book. I have read Jay Daniels. Um, it's like the Alabama Summer Series, I think. I think that's what it's called. That's like five books, I think. Um, I have them all on my Kindle. I read them like three years ago, and I remember really enjoying them. So I decided to pick this up. A lot of people have read it, and I haven't. So I was like, okay, it's free. I'll try it. And I really love this. I did give it a five out of five, so I that shows how much I loved it. There were just a lot of like laugh out loud moments and just a lot of things that happened in here. So this basically takes place at a wedding. So she is the main character. I forgot her name, but the main character, she is a, she owns a bakery with her best friend 
and uh, he's a guy her best friend's a guy and their other best friend the girl she's a wedding planner so uh, they it kind of starts off like funny where she gets invited to her ex-boyfriend's wedding and they kind of like didn't really have a good relationship but it's all about that but then she meets someone at a wedding and they kind of get together at the wedding and it's all about that and it's just really really funny i laughed out loud so many times during this book and this is just a great book to read if you want just something different um I'm also on a wedding kick. I've been watching a lot of Four Weddings and Say Yes to the Dress because that's what I binge watch. So this was like a great book to read. Um, the next book I read I don't have a copy of and that is All Wound Up uh, which is the play-by-play -play series number 10. So yeah I read it out of order. That one was by JC Burton. I only gave it a 3 out of 5. I wasn't a huge fan of it. Um, I just didn't connect with it if that makes sense it was okay the overall concept was good I liked the baseball part but I've been trying to read like the rest of the JC Burton's books and I just I didn't really like it I didn't just I don't know it was okay like it was a good read to read but yeah so the next book after that I read is Fire and You by Jennifer L. Armitrout this is number six of her like wait for me series I think this is the one I actually don't own in paperback um I don't know if you guys can see the cover but this one is the only one I own on my kindle and I love this one I gave it a four to five um this one follows Brock and Jillian and I really loved Brock and Jillian as characters but I just felt kind of disconnected from this story I uh, I remember I feel like I liked them in previous books but not in this one I felt they were too I don't know this book wasn't detailed enough and I felt like nothing really happened in this book if that makes sense but I still did give it a four I liked the characters I liked the recurring characters that were in it as well and it is Jennifer Armitrout so it is very enjoyable and I feel like this series is a series that you can kind of like read and not really care about if that makes sense like you don't have to be invested into the book so the next book I also don't own and that is Catwoman Soul Stealer by Sarah J Mass. This is her like newest release. It came out like last week, I think. I literally got it from my library as soon as it came out. And I enjoyed it. I gave it a four out of five. I really liked it. I'm not really a huge superhero DC person. I like, I tend to like Marvel more, but Marvel's kind of annoying me. I don't know, it's like a whole big thing. But I really liked it. I didn't know anything about Catwoman going into it. I just, all I knew was she was kind of an anti-hero and she, uh, she, oh, she was in the Batman movies. That's all I knew. <laughs> um, but I loved it. I love Sarah J Mass's writing. I just really connect with her writing. I think it's very beautiful how she, like, portrays her characters and everything so I loved it I really also loved how it was kind of girl power like um because it had it had uh Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn in it as well and I love Harley Quinn's character so that was really awesome and I also couldn't figure out the plot twist at the end like I had no clue that was coming until it happened so I thought that writing was really good but overall I really enjoyed it it's very different. It is a DC book. I didn't like the Wonder Woman one by Leigh Bardugo and I didn't read the Batman by Marie Lu. So this was the only one I really liked out of the series and I definitely think you should give it a try if you like Catwoman or DC. So the next book, it's two books that I read. They were really quick. They were novellas and that is Jerry Ward's two prequels to Consumed. This one is uh, The Wedding from Hell Part 1, The Rehearsal Dinner, and I also read Part 2, The Reception. I like them both. I give them both four out of fives. I really liked how she wrote these novellas um, just because you kind of get an insight to the characters that are going to be in Consumed and kind of the background and you see like the plot that's going to happen in Consumed. So I really enjoy that as well. And these are free on Amazon. So I recommend getting them before you read Consumed by her if you want a background to it. But these were really good. Uh, the next book I read, if I can remember which book I read, is one of my favorites this month, and that is The Chase by L. Kennedy. This is the Briar University number one. Yeah, number one. Um, I don't know why I was confused. 
right now there's only two books going to be optioned for this series but I'm hoping she finds more because I just love this world so basically this series is the spin-off series to the off-campus series the off-campus series has four books and those follow hockey players that kind of already they were like seniors and seniors in college and this these books are kind of a couple years later and these books follow the younger guys that were on the team that are now juniors and seniors in college so I really love this this one specifically follows Summer who is Dean's younger sister and Fitzy um I forgot his full name I don't know if it's Fitzgerald or something like that but I call him Fitzy um he is the hockey player in this and I loved this book I gave it a five out of five just everything about it was so funny. I loved being back into this Briar University world and just seeing the younger guys kind of grow up. You got to see Hunter a lot in here, so I thought that was very interesting. I really want a book about him, so L. Kennedy, make a book about Hunter, please. Uh, but this book was just great to read. It was so funny because Fitzy is like a nerdy jock type so he lo like he creates video games and he reviews video games so I just love that aspect and Summer is the complete opposite she loves shopping she loves going out and doing things so I just really loved this book it wasn't too much drama that it was obnoxious but it was just really nice to just see this book and it also has Summer who has ADHD so I thought that was interesting to put that in there so it was kind of nice to read about but overall this book was great and I really really recommend reading L. Kennedy's Off Campus and Briar U series they're just so good I love them so much and yeah because I love my sports romances and then the last book I read if I can pull it up was Lingus? Lingus by Mariana Zapata. This one was really good. I only give it a four to five just because some points in this book I felt like nothing overall happened and the main part of this book like the convention they, that they were at I felt like it could have been expanded upon if that makes sense. I felt like that was how it was centered around it was supposed to be focused but it wasn't like it ended up not being focused if that makes sense I don't know if that makes sense if you've read this book I think you understand this again is probably a little bit better than sweet Aaron sweet dear Aaron to me which is the military one but I still think culty steals the top of Mariana's book so far I really enjoyed this one though it was very interesting this follows Robbie Lingus um, I think it's Travis or I forgot his actual name oh my god I literally just read this like I forgot his actual name but this fellow is Robbie Lingus and he's hilarious I loved his character and oh my god I forgot the girl's character that's so bad see the downside to reading so fast and reading so many books is you forget characters names but I really enjoyed it it was very different from what I expected and from what I was used to reading it was very funny though and I love how they adopted a massive Great Dane mix because I have a Mastiff at home so I felt like a lot of the things that their Mastiff did was a lot of things that mine did so that was very funny and Mariana has two has a Great Dane actually so it's very interesting to see I just really enjoyed this book it was very different from what her other books uh read read I read yeah so I don't know I can't talk to this month but I did give it a four to five I really enjoyed it I'm hoping the wall of Winnipeg and me is at least as good as Colty because that one I'm bringing to college but yeah so I'm done with my ebooks now and so I did read a decent amount and I hope you guys like that I'm showing you them on my kindle so yeah but the next book I read was Hope Flames by JC Burton this is a hope number one novel I liked it. I gave it a 3 out of 5. It was average for me. I just didn't like her writing. I think that's what threw it off. But I liked the concept of this book. It follows a guy who is a canine officer and his dog ends up getting hurt in the line of duty. So he brings the dog into a new vet that just opened up and her name's Emma. She just opened up so they kind of start a romance. I enjoyed it. I don't think I'm going to continue on with the series but I liked the concept and I like how dogs are involved in each book of this series so I mean maybe in the future I'll continue but I wasn't a fan of JC Burton's writing. 
The next book I really, really enjoyed, and that's When a Scott Ties the Knot by Tessa Dare. So uh, thanks, Ash from Ash Heart Books, for recommending like 5 million historical romance books for me to read. I love this book. This was really good. I gave it a 4 to 5 just because I felt like it could have gone into depth a little bit more and we could have seen more historical content. But overall, this was such a great book. Like, I love anything Scottish, so of course, when you have Captain Logan Mackenzie, who's a Scottish captain, I was like, swoon, love him. Um, I really like this. I liked how Miss Madeline Gracechurch, she was very shy, and she kind of wrote letters to this guy named Logan Mackenzie to basically show her parents, like, oh, I have a sweetheart or whatever, when she didn't and he comes showing up um, a couple years later at her door and she's like I'm confused it was really good I really enjoyed it there were some things in here that I felt like didn't need to be in here and they were kind of just oddly placed but overall I loved this book and I'm probably gonna try more from either Tessa Dare or any Scottish historical romances so if you have any recommendations for Scottish historical romances that are like this and Outlander definitely leave them down below because I want to check them out and plus this cover is just gorgeous guys the next book I have I really enjoyed as well and that's The Bombshell Effect by Carlos Sorensen this I found through Candy Steiner um Candy Steiner is a big football person she likes football she I think she likes the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but I think she also lives in Florida, so that's why. But I love this book. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5. I really, really enjoyed it. It follows a single dad who's a quarterback, and his neighbor ends up being the new owner of the place, and the new owner, basically the new owner, her dad passes away, and in his will, the dad leaves the football team to her. So it's all about her trying to kind of man up and figure out how to do, uh, how to, like, own a football team and all this stuff and I just really enjoyed it I liked how all the different side characters were kind of really good as well I loved their relationship together and of course his daughter was just gorgeous I loved everything about the daughter I really enjoyed this book I wish again it went more into depth with a lot of things that happened um especially the football season I did like how you saw the football games though but I wish this series this gets a series and I don't think it will I think it's just a standalone but one good thing is Candy Steiner is actually working on a football romance and I was like yes please I think that one's coming out I this fall I believe but I'm so excited for that and I know I'm gonna love it and I love this book too then I finished reading what was out of the Hades Hangman series so I did a reread of Damo Damnable Grace by Tilly Cole, which is book five. I ended up changing my rating and gave it a 4.5 out of 5. I realized I liked it a little bit better than I originally did, but I still wasn't a huge fan of Phoebe as a character. I didn't like her um, that much as I've liked the other girls in the past. I don't know. I like I understand she's supposed to be that way, but I wasn't like, mm, no. But I love AK and I love that you got to see more of Little Blaine. Little Ash, sorry, not Little Flame, Little Ash, and all that, so I enjoyed this book. Then I read I Do Babe by Tilly Cole, which is the novella, super short novella. Uh, this is literally 90 pages, and I gave this a 5 out of 5. This is a reread again. I love this. It follows someone's wedding. Not going to tell you who, but I enjoyed this book. And I kind of gave in, and I read Crux Untamed by Tilly Cole. Now, I can say a lot about this book. This book was honestly really, really good. I wasn't expecting it, and it was, I don't know, it took a different tone than the rest of the series, which I really enjoyed. I gave us a 5 out of 5, by the way. But this follows Sia, who is Kai's younger sister, I think younger sister, and it also follows Hush and Cowboy. So, I just overall really love this book. There's a lot of, like, racial... Um, things in this book and it kind of builds on to the next story which is going to be Tanner's story so there's a lot with the um not the mafia what's it called the cartel the cartel the Mexican cartel there's a lot about it in this book and I just just really enjoyed this it definitely took I feel like a more serious tone than the other books and I feel like it's more realistic just because of I guess the racial tensions that happened in the past in this book and 
I felt like Tilly Cole just did a really like phenomenal job in this book and I loved it it's really good I I feel like you have to read it to know what I'm talking about how it kind of takes like a different writing tone to this but yeah so speaking of which Tilly Cole's novella book I guess 6.5 yeah is going to be Tank and Beauty and their story and I'm very excited about that that one comes out August 20th so right before I leave yay I'm probably gonna get it on my Kindle just because I want to read it right away but it seems really really good and I know I'm gonna love it and definitely check out these books if you want a dark romance then I had another reread and that's After the Game by Abby Glines. This one was really good as well. I will leave a link to my review down below. So I'll be leaving this link and the legacy link so you guys can, I guess, hear more about my thoughts. But I love this book. I think I gave it a 4.5 out of 5. I think I did, yeah. So if you want, I'll leave my link in the description so you can hear more about it. I reread this one because I'm planning to read book number four I think it's called losing the field um which comes out August 25th 21st I don't know whichever the Tuesday is so I'm definitely going to be getting that book then I finally finished the massive cocktails the cocky collective by five bajillion authors this is an anthology look how ginormous it is um I gave this a four to five overall in my goodreads um uh, which is linked down below in the description I went into depth about each book. I gave, I mean, each short story. I gave each short story a rating. Um, I enjoyed them. There were a lot of five out of fives in here for me, which was really nice. So I'm going to discover new authors and kind of see what their, I guess, writing is about. I really enjoyed it. There were a couple I DNF'd, and that was either when I didn't like it or two, I, it was part of a series, and I don't want to get spoiled for the series, if that makes sense. Um, but over, overall, I think this is a great, great just thing that they did. They basically created this book to raise money for everything that was happening in the romance world. And I really enjoyed this. It's, I, I don't know if I'm going to put this up. I may put this up after August 26th, but the last time you can get this book is August 26th. It's kind of a limited edition book, and I'm very happy I have it, so I can go through and read it if I want more of it. But I love this book, and it kind of takes up a lot on my shelf, so yeah. And then the last book I read this month was Furious Rush by S.C. Stevens. I enjoyed this. I gave it a 3.5 out of 5. It wasn't the best, and I liked the beginning and the end to the best. I hated the middle. Uh, but this follows Mackenzie Cox. She is a motorcycle racer, I guess. She's a professional motorcycle racer and she's a girl. So it's very different in that sports side to be a girl in this sport. I guess I've never watched motorcycle racing I'm sorry but she meets this guy named Hayden and it's all about them and kind of navigating it I, I liked it I liked Mackenzie in the beginning but I felt like after she met Hayden and all this stuff was going down I was like nah it just wasn't that great I do have book two I am interested in reading book two to finish it because this one kind of ends on a cliffhanger um but overall, it was, a, it was a good, it was a solid read. It just wasn't my favorite book I've ever read. So yeah, that's it. I read 19 books this month. I did an okay job, but I feel like, I don't know. I feel like this was one of the months that I just didn't feel like I read a lot, if that makes sense. So I'm hoping I'll be better in September or at least read a couple more books at the end of August. But I am moving into college and I have to get used to my college classes and all that. So I'll let you guys know. I made you like an update video when I'm in college, maybe talking a little bit about my first couple weeks and how I feel. I may do a room tour, but yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!